Ladies and gents, welcome, welcome. We are in Varanasi, 10th of February, 2 p.m. I'm waiting for my pizza, which is gonna take 20 minutes to make. So I'm taking this time to walk around a little bit and show you slightly modern buildings in Varanasi. p.m. now so it's pretty hot this is apparently a hospital here there is a lot of dust so it it does stick to the glass as you can see let me show you some shops around here that I passed This is some kind of mall, IP Vijaya mall. They don't have pepperoni pizza, they, they are out of stock. This is the second time I've tried. It's quite expensive. It costs six, uh, 650, 650 rupees for a medium, which means very small. I saw the portions, they look very small, uh, unless, unless I'm wrong. Um, size pizza, which is six pounds 50, it's a lot. <laughs> for what it is, but let's see, I crave, I've been living on Indian food, you know, on the local food for a long time now, so this would be my first non-Indian food, let's, let's see what it's like, boys and girls, I'll let you know, when I was traveling around India in 2007, um, the pizza, was very 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 bad in uh, pretty, in pretty much all places they make it sweet they don't know how to make the dough they use completely different dough uh, it's not really pizza it's some kind of thick thick sweet cake uh, the tomato sauce is not what it should be so yeah it's, it's not a clever idea to be ordering these kind of foods in India unless things have changed, who knows? Let me see if I can go closer, let's see. Looks like a jewelry jewelry shop. Jewelry <laughs> shop. That looks like a nice and posh building right there. Let's see what's the what's the other one there. So I see some clothes. Clothes for kids.
ladies, they've got fitness gym for ladies and gents. I would love to go and see that. Take a few screenshots here. Varanasi has around 1.6 million people, roughly. It's hard to get a you know an exact exact number, but that's what I've googled. So it's it's a big city. It's a big city. And I've seen many of these, these kind of shops all over the place as we were coming in. Which is nice to see. <coughs> I'm still recovering, so if you hear me if you hear me coughing, it's, it's been an absolute disaster health-wise, air pollution and all that. I'm starting very late today, I'm starting filming 2 p.m., that's not my usual time. But I just wanted a half a day off. If I was here for six months, oh my god, I would be in bed for a week. But you know what? The thing is, in bed things are even worse because this is when the this is when your nose leaks the most. I've noticed when I'm out and walking, I actually feel better than at home in bed. So let's see, let's see. Tomorrow we are flying to Mumbai, where we are going to stay for two weeks. But that was not the plan and my, my friend is not happy about it. He would like to move three days here, two days there, you know, cover a lot of places as much as possible. But as I said in my previous video, um, flights are expensive in between cities. Distances are massive and for one hour flights, let's say one, one hour and a half they charge 70 pounds let's say Calcutta, Hyderabad or Varanasi, Hyderabad it's 70 pounds and then Hyderabad, Mumbai another 70 pounds um, so it's pretty much 70 pounds everywhere you want to fly, like any city um, just in this area yeah, Udaipur, Jaipur as well around that that mark, 70, 80, 60. Um, so, you know, if you fly a lot, it, it adds up. And we pay the ticket to India and it's just, in an ideal world, you know, it's good to test, test the waters without spending as much as possible and keeping the, sorry, my voice. I think the expense is low. So I'm very happy staying two weeks in Mumbai because Oh my god, I was gonna show you this place here. Because that's a keyword, you know, that's a strong keyword. Everybody's looking for videos from Mumbai, I assume, because it's a well-known city. So let's see. 
I've been to Calcutta before and yeah, I can't remember much to be honest. So I don't I don't think we'll be missing on that much. I'll be much happier in uh, in Mumbai. And and if if at all possible, we'll try to go out to some countryside or villages. I, I I don't know if it's possible at all. Connections, you know, trains and stuff. What I'm trying to say, it's so noisy and I have to shout through traffic, so it's it's not it's not ideal. But we, we might try some villages or countryside. Anyway, I'll be I'll be quiet, it's exhausting to speak here guys, so bloody noisy. Every meter away from away from that craziness is a good meter. <laughs> I don't know, India is just so crazy crowded. Somehow, I don't remember Varanasi being as crowded when I was here in 2007. Maybe I wasn't paying attention, who knows. I don't mean right here, but in other places, you know. I was here with my friend Foss, so he saw this <laughs> and he's absolutely massive and I said I'm gonna put him in one. It's absolutely tiny. <laughs> he would be very happy to be a big boy in that. <laughs> So as you can see, boys and girls, you do have some posh and modern places here. They look dusty, but you know, they're trying, they're trying. Let me go and check on that pizza and chill a little bit. And then tonight I'm going to be filming that ceremony, take two, um, the night ceremony, 6.30. Yesterday I got there, it was extremely crowded, so... 
it wasn't great. Um, I didn't get a good view of the ceremony. So tonight I'll be smarter. I'll be mafia and I'll get it from a different angle. I'll come from a different place. So thank you so much everybody for watching. Please press the like button. Please subscribe. Leave a comment and let me enjoy my pizza. Hopefully it's good. Who knows? I don't expect miracles. See you later. Bye.